Yeah, it's gonna be a black. Let's see. <laughs> we're up. And we're live! Welcome to the Alternative Projects live stream. We are celebrating the release of Mav Love on Steam. This time we are having Saf with us. Hello, I'm Saf. We have Evan. Uh, hi everyone, Evan here from the Mav Love team. We have Sachibel. Hi, Sachibel here from the Mav Love team. And we have some special guests again. We have Hirei. Hello, Hirei from the Mav Love team. And the ever so lovely Chris. Hey, invalid name here. How y'all doing? This is gonna be a straight up stream. Nothing's planned except we're going to show you some of the new translations, some of the new graphics, some of the new UI, and all that. And without further ado, I should probably let Saf take the controls. <laughs> okay, sure. So obviously, the main thing. Uh, that I checked out as soon as I got access to the beta was all of the new options uh, in the options menu. Obviously the, the engine itself has been very heavily uh, revised and improved over the previous build. Um, obviously you can see here we've got everything properly translated, obviously all sorts of options. Uh, so I, mean, looks I honestly like we've don't got... know what this is. I'll, I'll be brutally honest here. Oh yeah, we also have Gabriel on here. <laughs> yeah, Gab Gabgrave's here. I was wondering why you didn't mention him. Uh, it looks yeah, like some people are saying... <laughs> yeah, I knew I would fuck something up. It's okay. Oh, hang on, is it? Yeah, is the, is the game audio a little from the right, translation. Let me, yeah? let me turn the audio down on the game. Yeah, I was going to say some people are noting that <laughs> that's a little loud. Yeah, it's really hard to gauge how loud it is. <laughs> but here you see the a little better now. new graphics on the options. Yeah, we've got all sorts here. New little uh, Chibi Yuko. Yep. Uh, do we have more options than before? We do. We have uh, all of these. We have a new power save mode, which I guess is quite useful for people on laptops, I suppose. Not so much. Yeah, and for... tablets, I think, too. Yeah, and, yeah, and tablets, because yeah, not so much for desktop users, of course. Uh, and yeah, auto saving. On a tablet, it's pretty. It's chowing the battery pretty quick on a tablet. Ooh. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> well, not badly, but I think I've played about an hour and used up about probably a quarter of my battery. Ooh, Ooh that's... Yeah. But this is yeah. a cheap... That is your AX2. But it's, it's a mini tablet, so it probably doesn't have a lot of capacity in the first place. Yeah, I, I'd imagine that just knowing how our, our UGP works, that it's... I mean, compared to other VN engines, it's a little intensive. I'm sure that alternative will be even worse in that regard. <laughs> so having, having advanced settings to turn a power save is probably a really good idea. Yeah, it's very yeah. nice. Um, obviously, there's also the introduction of the suspend game, which will happen if you uh, if you close Novlove without first going back to the main menu. When you reopen the game, it will just jump straight back to wherever you left off really you don't need to go through the splash screens or load a save or anything which i actually it's really like really cool some some people i've heard you know might not but for me i think that's a really great addition um then we've oh yeah sorry I forgot what I was saying there. um obviously here we have the option to translate both text and image switch between english and japanese now that's fancy as fuck. Now that's nice. Uh, there's also, yes, you, you get can... this option when you go to start a new game, as you'll see shortly. Um, you can pick whether you want the image language in English or Japanese. Text language can be switched between at any point just by pressing L. Which yep, is L key really, or which is, changing yeah, which the is option. a really nice addition for me. Uh, or, yeah, and there's some tablet gestures as well. So if you do like a Z squiggle move, uh, on a tablet, it'll also change languages. Um, so yeah, and image language as well has been implemented. Uh, so you can play with the original Japanese images or uh, use some of the lovely uh, English CGs made uh, by our very talented Hide here and uh, also Gabgrave. Um, so yeah, hopefully people enjoy that option. Uh, we've got some quick save options as well. Um, yeah. yeah, 
Uh, yeah, I mean, this is all nicely revised from the original. It just the layout is much nicer, much more appealing. Here, obviously, you can turn on or off character voices as you want to. Uh, yep. Well, why before. would you want to? And yeah, just more of that. Um, <laughs> and now, uh, do you? Should we jump straight into a new game? Is there anything else anyone wants to go over? What do you do? I mean. Basically, Evan said he's a translator, but what do you, did you guys do with the project? Let's start with Gabs. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, so basically I helped to kickstart the team um, by bringing people in and um, working with them to set up the whole process. And yeah, along the way, I also helped to chip in on images and um, on um, setting up the um, the image uh, editing process and all the um, QC and basically anything that needs doing, <laughs> I, I try to chip in my best. <laughs> and then, what did you do? Did you do anything? Uh, no, I did nothing. I was just kind of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm the lead editor. I wrote the new draft. Um, and w with help, obviously, from all of our talented editors and translation checkers. Um, military help from Gab, of course, uh, and yeah, so basically did that in charge of consistency, etc., um, and localization uh, direction with the rest of the editing team. Yep. Hirei? Uh, I was the assistant project manager, so pretty much I oversaw the translation efforts just on the corporate side of Dega. Because I'm an employee. Um, I also helped with the image editing. Uh, I also did a lot of the Kickstarter images as well. And uh, I'm also in charge of the physical products for the Kickstarter. So the gift bags and stuff um, was basically me. I have to say I was pretty impressed with all the graphics you did. Thank you. And um, Sachi, what did you do? Um, not much. I just did whatever Evan told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I, I did a lot of the uh, translation and editing. Um, I was one of the first pass translators. So generally, I took the, I took the um, original script and um, I uh, basically was the first person to take a look at it and the first person to get to it. Uh, and then later on, uh, Evan and um, the other editors would come along and edit whatever I wrote. So, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Asaf, what's your part? Um, well, I helped out with the scripts, which basically take... They would take the files that we received from Ixel, uh, rip them to an Excel file, uh, let the guys translate them, and then recompile them in the same format to be sent back and then implemented into the engine, and I did a little bit of quality check as well. I guess that leaves me and Chris to be your background forces. <laughs> We're the fawning fanboys. Indeed. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Your, your, your contributions have not gone unnoticed. <laughs> but let's okay. go. Let's get on with the show. Let's show show us. Actually, let's jump straight into a new game. Obviously, yeah. as you can see here, as soon as you press start, you've got whether you want the images in Japanese or English. So we'll go for English for this to showcase the new translations. Uh, we'll go straight into extra. And uh, I'll just turn on it. We've got a nice new uh, side menu here. Yeah, extra, extra large for uh, <laughs> yep. tablet use. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got the diary scene. Kind of pretty oh much gosh. standard fare compared to <laughs> compared to what uh, is in the existing releases. <clears throat> I guess now, if we want to do a read through, uh, Sachi has to be Takeru, and we'll all the rest of us will be the girls. <laughs> I've heard good uh, things what? about your Takeru voice, Sachi. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So if you have this, it looks like if you have this on auto read, it just shows each line all at once. Um, you can go ahead and probably skip through this and get to like past the Valgernon scene, I guess. Yeah, sure. I think that'd probably be a little better to show off the engine. 
<clears throat> so yeah, see, we got we go here, we go English. Uh, much more quick save than before as well. Yeah, you have the option to save it at, have it quick save automatically at either choices or new chapters, which in extra are like days, basically. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Obviously everything uh, this time around is using the PS3 sprites, is that correct? Yeah, there should be the updated PS3 sprites. So we've got, uh, yeah, high-res sprites and assets. Um, and for the first time, uh, our UGP is actually resizable. Um, you can <laughs> yeah. just, as, as we discovered yesterday, uh, you can bring it down to Game Boy Advance size, which is fantastic. Pretty fun. <sighs> it just plays itself. Yep, yep, pretty much. So yeah, Valdronon, everyone's favorite uh, scenes from that extra. Very dynamic, very not... Yeah, very good. Just, uh, <laughs> just jump through yeah. this. Yeah, do that. Gaps, if so, I'm not completely incorrect, you can actually win this sequence, can't you? Um, there is... Yeah, you, you are able to win some of the Virtron, uh, Virgon sequence that you see later on. Um, although I can't remember what's the moves that you need to take right now. Yeah, there's yeah, there... guys around that show you how to do it. Yeah, there's, there's actually a way to... Um... <laughs> there is a way to win, yeah, the... Valgenon uh, sequence in which you team up with Maya if you've chosen the correct options throughout all of the different, you know, uh, Valgenon scenes. So yeah, uh, that's something that most people don't know because I mean, a it doesn't even show up in uh, show up in the CG gallery or anything. Uh, it's just a very Easter egg, I guess. This is all it is. <laughs> it's a small Easter egg. Oh, yeah, really nice to win, that's all. Like, yeah, yeah I did it. He gives you one extra line, doesn't it? Or something like that. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, obviously, so. here we have the first... <laughs> ...Sumika Punch coming up. It's not even a Drill Milky It's punch, not a Drill though. Milky, no. <laughs> no, not yet. Yep, yep. Uh, so, yeah, we... <sighs> Oh, we do have a question about the log screen. Oh, the backlog? Oh, yeah, yeah. the backlog. Oh, it's I, I'm so sure that now. Uh, yep, it's, it's actually... It we, now. They've actually adapted it so that it's bigger and it's wider. Been, so yeah, wider quite a lot, more. so you don't get as many random line breaks. Um, yeah. The PS3 version did have... voice lines as before. Yep, yep. So obviously that's... Yep, yep. It's really nice, actually. Yeah, if, yep. if you saw, like, one of the pre-release screenshots we released with the backlog in it, it had a little Chizuru uh, icon in the bottom left corner, but that was removed to fit more text on screen, um, as per uh, suggestion by our very, very good friend Connor uh, at Ambigravity. Uh, so yeah, let's see here. So basically we've just got some stuff here. Um, I mean, should I, uh, should I load this save? Um, the first save that we made last night, Evan. I don't mind. Yeah, we we'll do that up now. Or yeah, we you. just have some saves. We yeah. just have some saves set up so, to show some stuff playing in the background. A couple different part portions of the game. Yeah. I just love seeing Takeru and Sumika's interactions again. Like, <laughs> oh. Right, looks like. Obviously, we've got a fairly well-known scene coming up here. Also, it's nice seeing this running on the modern engine because I think people who've uh, played the old fan translation would have been stuck on the old, uh, what, 2003 version. And yeah. so yeah. you're, not, you're not seeing blinking or moving lips or anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, all the dynamic animations that were added for alternative uh, when that engine update happened for RUGP 5.7. Uh, oh, and uh, I, saw, you know, I saw a question, sorry, in the thing uh, in the YouTube chat about audio being muted when you minimize or have the win uh, IHP in the background. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I want to say yes, you can. I'm fairly sure there's yep. an option for that uh, in the power save. 
Every time that I minimized, um, when I, when I was playing, whenever uh, I would minimize the window, it would completely mute everything. Yeah, that, that sounds yeah. about right. Uh, the, yeah, and the answer, uh, I see the glob asked, uh, does the new engine su hi, still support hi, positional hi, audio? Hi, yeah, the uh, Aja's ACS, uh, which is an, like a simulated uh, HRTF vinyl sound system, uh, is still yeah, in the game. So basically what that does is it's like head-related transfer function or something. Uh, it's like an audio illusion that gives the illusion of three-dimensional space. Uh, so yeah. That, that, that system is still in place. Yeah, another thing that I really like, I just saw, uh, I think there was a lot of comment on it as well, is that the text itself is now displayed in the same way as it is an alternative. Yeah, the subtitle style. Yeah, I, I, I personally really prefer that. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's very nice. Um, so yeah, got some nicer uh, sprites. Uh, just more versatility in the engine overall. Um, yeah. Oh, the the engine is obvious. so much better now than the previous versions. Yep. You and can only run on Windows 10. Differences. Yeah, you really can. Um, I, I have not been on social media too much since uh, the game went live to backers, but um, so far I've heard for the most part, pretty positive things about the new script, so I'm very thankful to everyone uh, and happy that they are enjoying it so far. Um, yeah. Oh, another thing. I admit I got a little teary-eyed reading some reactions. You guys <laughs> are very, very sweet. There's uh, one thing I neglected to mention when I was going through the options. Um, the engine now, it does have cloud save support. So if you were to be playing on, you know, your PC and then wanted to switch over to your tablet or whatever, all your save games would still be there, which is a nice little addition as well. Ah, <sighs> <laughs> oh, it's been so long. I just love Miki being such a troll. <laughs> Hello. Do we want to, um, I guess we could talk about what everyone's favorite part of the new translation is. It's Reddit, at least. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's ideal. Uh, Suf, what, you were one of the first people to read it as one of our QCers. Uh, what, what would you say is I mean, most for improved? me, um, as I said in the previous uh, hangout we did, it's uh, Ayamine's route and just the massive overall improvement to her character and just her route as a whole. It's really a night and day difference, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, uh, I mean, it is definitely night and day. Um, I'm, I'm a little worried that people are gonna, uh, you know, feel a little, you know, hesitant to yeah, it's, it's, accept it's a the big new change, but direction. For me, yeah, it is a big change. change. Yeah, it's very, it's very, uh... <clears throat> it's very... Yeah, the original fan translation didn't really, um... Didn't really capture her character very well at all, in my opinion. So, I... Yeah, we we tried to retain that a lot better. She's less non-sequitur spouting. And just a strange character and more of a, you know, sarcastic troll like she's supposed to be. Um, so yeah. I'm... I hope people will give that route a try uh, more than just about anything in the game. I highly uh, recommend it. Yeah, Sachi, uh, what do you think? About the new translation? Like, yeah. honestly, um, I spent a lot of time trying to improve Chizuru. Yes, um, <laughs> you did. And I know that's like a, a Herculean task, but... Um, I, I heard from like everybody when I first like when I first was playing it, there were so many people who just really hated Chizuru, and I kind of was one of them. I, I didn't really like her all that much. Um, and when I started translating, I realized it wasn't exactly that I hated the character. I just I didn't understand because she does do a lot of um, 
she does a lot of uh, sarcastic um, responses, and it didn't really carry over well with the original translation. So, I'm hoping, I spent a lot of time with Chizuru, I'm really hoping that um, maybe I can change a couple of minds on her. Um, and honestly, I am so impressed with how much Maya has changed as well. Um, because Maya, she definitely had a very unique way of speaking in Japanese. And um, the way that we've translated it makes it so that not only is it unique um, in the same sort of way, but it's also incredibly cute. Like, you yeah. can see when she's trying really hard to be a bit more like the other, the other crew. Yeah, um, I noticed one person uh, asking about the Live and La Vida Mov Love uh, song. Uh, problem is, uh, just very basically, that song was replaced because of licensing issues. Um, uh, it is now a new song by Evan Call, uh, who shares a name with me and is uh, the composer for the Schwarzschildmachen uh, anime and video game. Uh, there's that song and uh, one other song that's brand new by him uh, that doesn't replace anything but is but it appears in the mock battle scene just once in unlimited and that's that's an excellent song uh, so you have that to look forward to it gets, I know that what's the will be, most uh, important bit for you in this new translation uh, yeah I will just say it's definitely me uh, for me is he there's just so much more characterization now for Maya's lines. And yeah, when I reread it again um, in the game after everything's been done, it, it was really a huge difference um, compared to what was present before. Yeah, um, Maya, Maya is... I, I made it like my, my like personal mission to like make her not sound like, like a Shakespeare wannabe. Uh, uh, so yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I, I'm really happy with what the team did with her. Um, I'm glad about that. Yep, same here. You, you did a very good job. <laughs> Does that explain all the Shakespearean lines she has? <laughs> uh, I don't think she has that many. Uh, I noticed one person said, I noticed Wes said something like that, but I guess he'll have to clarify what he means by that a little later on. I think, I think he was talking about the classmate comments. Oh that, yeah, that, 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 that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> oh dear, yeah. Whoa! I, those, were, those were just fun. I think that one particular one, the like, the lady like doth protest too much. I think that was a coastal suggestion. <laughs> yeah, that was a good. That's that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, coastal was. Oh, I, I guess he's not here. I just like to thank him uh, on a, on behalf of the team. Coastal has been a huge mentor and friend to me. Uh, that's really helped me a lot and the rest of the team and this project wouldn't be the same without him so shout outs to coastal yeah he really yeah. really helped out like and having him there um i don't know for me it was also like a real comfort um because even though i was kind of just the like the first pass knowing that like we had people like coastal and evan working on the script after i got through with it I knew that, like, whatever was going to happen with it, it was going to be pretty good. Yeah. Alrighty. So, what else? Um, dang. I guess we can probably switch to a different scene. I was going to say, should I go ahead and load the next save, which I believe is the end of the cooking competition? Uh, Do that. I guess we can, we can let the chat decide. Oh no, who are we going to choose? We can let the chat yeah, decide who we choose. What? Let's let chat decide. That's a good idea. We got we got a few people watching, so uh, we got this here. Yeah, fifty people watching. Come on, let's get we got. <laughs> wow. Who do we want? Who no. do we want? Come on, let's let's look. Who do we want, chat? Don't let. Otherwise, we'll have to pick ourselves. Chris, want for me? Uh, I really hope we don't what start like you, we, <laughs> we started like a way before. Four for Yuki Soba Bread. <laughs> uh, it definitely oh, looks like Ayamine's. Be I'm the seeing thing. some Ayamine. We've that's, got a lot of Ayamine. We've got a lot of Maya. Dang. I've got a lot of Maya. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, you guys know. let's, let's allow Cruz to decide. Is it IB, ICBM Tits or Maya? I'm going with Ayamine. 
I want to do it doing her route next anyway. I mean, if need be, if, if if there's like a huge demand, we can always reload this save later and go. Yeah, we can later. always reload the save. Uh, uh, well, that's good to hear. Um, that people want to see. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll go uh, ahead and stick with <laughs> Iron A now. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. That's my cat. <laughs> no. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Shotgun. Hi, Shotgun. Hello. Hey, Shotgun. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> well, I'm surprised. A lot of people wanted to see Maya's um. Or like biker girl outfit. <laughs> hey, don't do the biker girl outfit. <laughs> In any case, um, so yeah. <sighs> so obviously, we're now seeing the Ayamine win. Yeah. So Chris, what have you noticed? I know you've only seen a little bit of the script so far, but um, how are you yeah, liking I'm the version? I'm in about an hour and a half so far. Um, so. I, I think also uh, right now I'm seeing that, you know, Maya's speech, I'm really liking that it's you know, both somewhat formal, but as I said, not Shakespearean, but it does seem like, you know, she she conducts herself very differently from everybody else, which is you know, a key part of her character. I'm enjoying that so far. Um, so far, the jokes are funny. Um, and that's always going to be the challenge with extra is, you know, extra needs to be funny. Um, yeah. And so the jokes are landing. And uh, so I, I kind of didn't even re remember the very beginning of this game as much as, as I'm, you know, from coming back through it now. Like the fact that he, he wakes up from his dream of playing Valgernon and he's, he's groping Sumika. I totally forgot that's how this game started. <laughs> <laughs> and here at the yeah. birthday scene. Beyond it, his control. Yeah. <laughs> well, the interior here, I'm also flashing back to, well, when we flash back to it in um, Unlimited and or Alternative. When do we flash back to this again? Oh, gosh. You um, come back to this in Unlimited. Okay, it was Unlimited. I didn't know if we saw this again in, in Alternative. But, yeah, definitely Unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of thought you got to remember this. People thought that uh, people thought that the your cat Sachi was Miki meowing. <laughs> oh, oh, really sweet. I feel like if I can grab the uh, if I can grab a recording of that, I can grab a plug in. This is going to replace all of our dialogue with that. Oh please, please do. <laughs> Oh man. Um, we haven't even gotten to the adopting cat scene. <laughs> the Schrodingers, that's uh, that's um, yeah, that's Tsukiji. It appears in Altered Fable. Um, Ditsy Girl. Uh, let's see. What? But you never yeah, would know that playing extra. <laughs> the, the humor, yeah, uh, is obviously something that's, you know, that's, you know, Different, stro different strokes for different folks, but uh, we did try to keep it pretty uh, natural to the intent of the Japanese and uh, actually attempt to make jokes, not just over literalizations. So, yeah, we hopefully the majority of people will find it at least, you know, fitting, uh, if not, you know, their personal cup of tea. But yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with the overall. Uh, Somebody mentioned yeah. that the translation reminds of Persona games. We did touch on that subject previously on one of the casts, but do you even want to mention something about those games? Um, regarding the uh, translation? I, uh, I, I realize that um, opinions do differ on that in terms of literal and, you know, and, uh, and adaptation uh, sorts of translations. Uh, I consider that a very high compliment. Um, I know that some people would not. Some people would, you know, see Persona games as too adaptive. Uh, I see them as, you know, very, as very good adaptations. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would agree. Even if, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> that's a, that's great. That's one of the, you know, games that I kind of look up to. Uh, in terms of that sort of thing, so thanks. we had a discussion about what kinds of translations we really um, were inspired by when we were doing the the retranslation of Muv Love. Uh, yeah. Um, and oh. you, you had originally said Persona, of course. Yeah. Um, but the the big one that you talked to me about was uh, Paper Mario. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's that's. You my... went pretty crazy about that one. Yeah. 
Yeah. LOL. Um, so I'm seeing... I can't believe you're saying LOL out loud. Sorry, man. It's it's a really bad habit. <laughs> I've been I'm thinking that. Just like, what are you doing, Heaven? Like... <laughs> it, was, it was it was one of my ex-girlfriends she did it and i just i can't get rid of the habit um so so uh uh 1086 says i'm not looking forward to volleyball again uh, actually in photon melodies uh both mini games have been removed you still choose your volleyball teams for the routing but uh the mini game itself is not included uh nor is the sledding some people surprisingly are not super happy about that but no volleyball i did no. like those mini games yeah, you were the one that liked them. That's right. <laughs> See, I so yeah, basically, you just choose your team. I couldn't actually do it. They were yeah, yeah they were really hard. That was yeah. Don't, don't. There was, was a bug like in on it. Par with um, what was it? <laughs> far away dawn. Yeah. Oh. There, was, there was actually a bug in the volleyball, volleyball game where oh, sometimes no matter what you do, you can't hit the ball if you start the game with the bug on. But yeah. sometimes the bug switches to the other side, and that's where you basically win every game. I mean, I just thought that I really sucked at the game to begin with. Me too! Like, I was like, am I really going to need to use, like, a freaking memory editor to beat a mini game in a visual novel? <laughs> like... Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, hold on, though. Uh, Melon Smashing mini game is still there, though. So, just, just going to lay that out on the table. Melon Smashing game is still intact in Photon Melodies. Uh... Uh, we don't know about each scenes for AF. Um, it's definitely being discussed as a possibility. Um, but that's not where the team's focus is right now. Um, and if you really are, you know, that adamant about, you know, volleyball, go ahead and start a petition, I guess. Because <laughs> I'm seeing some people that really want it. Oh, well, I'll just have to do that then. Sure. What's the petition.org? <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go ahead and spear that. spearhead that. That'll work. Um, so yeah, sorry, Chris, I think you kind of got interrupted a little bit. Oh, no, that's um, okay. I was also getting interrupted by work, too, so please continue okay. with that. Okay. Um, yeah. So, where were we? Just, uh... Um... I gotta say, one of my favorite things about, um... I mean, is route has to be every time she shows up and goes, what up? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. That really tickles me every time. Yeah. Oh, man. Can you go through changes that I am this route saw? I mean, um, it's probably the one that saw most changes uh, aside from Chidurus. Yeah. Um, oh, someone. Yeah. Someone's excited about Kasumi Road. I, uh, I actually. Not officially, but I just finished translating that like a month or two ago. Kasumi's uh, route for Altered Fable. So, yeah, we'll be adapting that as soon as we get started on photons. Um, yeah, so, let's see. Uh, Ayamine's route, um, her dialogue makes sense now. Um, the yeah. back and forths are witty and fun, in my opinion. Some people might disagree, but again, it's a humor thing that's uh, pretty subjective. Uh, and beyond that, mm, there are some, like, very specific details, like, plot points that were not correctly translated that, uh, kind of change the way character motivations work, and it really kind of changes the tone of the story. Uh, a lot of people, at least a few people that I know, uh, there's a line in the original translation that basically implies that Ayamine is Sagiri's sister, and... That's like basically adding incest into the mix. Obviously, if you read context, then you'll find out that that's not the case, but it is a pretty confusing line translation when he's just saying, you know, I, I, I thought of her as a little sister. But anyways, yeah. They definitely uh, had another one of those lines in the Chizuru route too, where yeah. there was a, a really, really, really nasty implication about something that was happening to Chizuru that absolutely did not happen. <laughs> Yeah, a few, a, pre a few pretty funny, few, few pretty funny, uh, little, little quirks that had to be, uh, you know, buffed out. Um, so yeah, uh, Hide, I don't know if you've read any of the, uh, new translation yet. I know you've been very busy doing conventions and stuff, but do you have any thoughts so far or anything like that? Well, uh, yeah, obviously I haven't had time, uh, just to do paperwork and everything. But, 
you know, the editing chat that we have, I've been able to see a lot of differences between the old translation and the new one. I think you guys have done an amazing, fabulous job with uh, refining everything. And in particular, um, I'm a big fan of Maya. So I've looked yep. a little bit hey. at the old translations regarding her, and I see such a big improvement. So thank you very much for doing that. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes. You're very welcome. Uh, it was. I, I'm just so glad to hear that. Um, yeah. One, that was one of my biggest personal issues was making Maya relatable. Um, and uh, in, in answer to Blue Shirt, yeah, uh, there are subtitles in both the anime cutscene uh, in Volcano Arc uh, and in engine subtitles for the ending of Unlimited as well, uh, which is very nice. I know that the original fan translation actually left out an entire line of that, so of the of the ending. Uh, so yeah, and that's. I think that we did a really good job with that, and it really adds to, yeah, the impact of that scene, uh, just to have it all there in the game, not just like some text window popping up, yeah. Um, so... Shall I go ahead and grab another save? Yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Um, Let's see what we got next. What else? Uh, da -da -da. Uh, where were we? Thanks, Doc. Thanks for stopping by. So Thanks here we have. A, cheers. Um, we have a. Actually, the next save, yes, it's uh, everybody's favorite. Uh, favorite. Everybody's favorite arc. Look. And here, here we have here we have an example of uh, a go. newly translated image. You know, lots of text. That's all. It was uh, really annoying. I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. But you know, this little Thank really good. Extremely for... annoying. Uh. The answer uh, to your question about if, is this uh, Valdronon with new background, uh, that background uh, for that map, quote unquote, only appears in the Iamine date scene. So, yeah, uh, it, it isn't new, but if you didn't play Iamine's date in the original, you may not have remembered it. Hey, did you Are... do these uh, edits? Uh, I did the, well, you saw the lacrosse uh, manual. Gab and I worked very hard on that, and we had lots of issues due to the fact that it was like curving a little bit. Um, I think it's also one of the new CGs, if I'm not mistaken, like upgraded. It looks really good. Just, I guess, yeah, playing with perspective is a bit of a pain sometimes. Just open it up. What kind of problems you had, and open the process up so people can get behind what's happening in the background. Both of you. Oh. Um, <laughs> okay, sure. So basically, one of the issues we had was that the original translation, uh, fan translation images uh, that uh, we had that we uh, referred from for the translations, um, they were originally in um, three four to three aspect ratio, which is a DVD quality. So obviously, for the updated game, they're all um, sixteen to nine white screen so um, we definitely needed to redo basically every every single image and uh, re-edit everything so yeah that, that was something that um, he, uh, Hire and I uh, had to work on and yeah, for that particular across uh, manual image basically um, due to the line warping um, aspect of the original we had to play around with the text for quite a while before we managed to get everything looking um, as what you see here. <laughs> so on to you, Hire. Uh, I think like the major issue of, well, for me was um, we did not have the original PSD files. <laughs> uh, so we had to basically clean everything from scratch and then retrain oh, uh, text effects as well. That's painful. That's pretty harsh. That's, that's, that's painstaking. So like the yeah, Beltron translate images, um, <laughs> you see that's them in English, we had to clean the background and everything. Yeah, ugh. You, you guys did a good job with that. I was gonna on say, the, yeah. on some you, of the... you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know that you had to do that. They look really good. They yeah, really on, some of, on some of the, uh, the, uh, handwritten, like, the images with handwritten text also look really great. I'm really happy with what you guys did. Um, yeah, we tried not to those. use fonts too much for that. So, yeah. like, yeah. most of the things are either handwritten um, by me or, like, I tweaked a lot of it, too. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was all he raised. I'm still super impressed on, <laughs> on that Mighty Mo note. Oh yeah, that's great. Those I, were I, uh, absolutely great, to be honest. Yeah, and answer to people's um, concerns about is lacrosse arc uh, better now? I know that that's uh, that's all the chat is talking about. I'm seeing a ton of questions. People just wanting lacrosse arc to be better. Uh, my older sister's a lacrosse coach, actually, so that helped with a little bit of the knowledge there. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> okay, okay. I think that lacrosse is really, really greatly improved, and I did say so in chat as well. Um, Thanks, Clash Born. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I think probably one of the biggest reasons why it was difficult to play through in the original was because there were a lot of jokes in there. And they did work. The, yeah, I'll be they, honest. They, they, they really fell work. flat. And so with the, with the new translation, We've added in some new jokes so that instead of it just being like the, the, what do you call it, the, um, the physical humor that they show up in lacrosse, uh, yeah. there's, there's quite a few of that witty, um, <clears throat> banter that they have. Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, for me at least, I never felt like I was, like, you know, like, trudging through it, you know, just like, thinking, when is this gonna end? It wasn't like that at all, it was so much better this time around. Yeah, well, a lot of that I think is the parts when they're arguing, it, it, the their reasonings for, uh, you know, their individual, you know, pet peeves with one another uh, isn't really accurately conveyed in the original. So, yeah, I think it's a lot better now that you have, you know, oh, look, there were some choice. nonsense speeches. Yeah. Oh, oh we can go ahead and just. We'll, we'll that's, that's not important. I don't know. Yeah, go ahead and just save something else. Let's go with something else. Go home with Bama. One of the reasons why a lot of issues with, like... What are the chats saying? Oh, yeah, they're not saying anything. All right. Should we load the next? Yeah, just load a new one. I think one of the reasons that people had a lot of issues with um, Chizuru in general was because her reasoning was at, um, for why she was being the way she was. A lot of the times, it was pretty complex, and it didn't get properly conveyed in the original translation so there were several points when she um when she would try and explain why she's upset about something and it would just kind of be like okay well who cares yeah but with the new translation um both ayamine and chizuru both have uh pretty complex reasoning and it's really it's it's really uh it's it's nice because instead of sitting there, like, um, kind of waiting for everything with Chizuru and Ayamina to end, just like, ugh, when is this stupid cat fight gonna be over? It feels a lot more like, oh, okay, you know, I can understand where both of them are coming from. Looks like we've got some Haruko maniacs in the Sorry. chat. <laughs> I think we've got um, everybody's favorite part of the game here right now, the, the final lacrosse match. <laughs> <sighs> Too bad we didn't get an official Haruko Maniacs included with photons, but whatever. Rip. And tear. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and agree with what was just said about Haruko's uh, CG and alternative. Uh, <laughs> I think that's one of the worst in the entire series. Uh, yeah. I do agree that Haruko is the best sister. I, I concur. I concur too. Indeed. Indeed. Tai Chi! So I have a case chopped into death by Spruce Snoo all day. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, I remember when that, food, when that joke first came out. <laughs> oh. I mean, should we talk about the all ages scenes a little bit? Yeah, I mean we can. Uh, I think that they're excellent. I think that I think that they're excellent replacements. Um, they they serve the job really well. Um, they don't like try and change the content rather than just like kind of skip away. Um, for people, obviously, pe purists will want you know to use the patch, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you, Blue Shirt. I'm. Thank you, Blue Shirt. I'm glad you enjoyed Haruko Maniacs. That was my first translation. 
What's the best uh, all ages scene you guys? What's the best uh, all ages scene you think you have gone through? I mean, let's go with everybody who have read it basically. And then, what's your favorite? Is it Mickey's? No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm. No, not on that one. That's kind of hard. That's a, that's a hard question. Um. Uh. Shoot. Maybe I mean is, um, just because there's a good joke. How about the goods? No, not that one. <laughs> but yeah, um, anyways. Yeah. I, I bet Sachi loves Mickey's All Ages scene. You know, I love Mickey. Um, I, I, I'm not gonna say that it's uh, my favorite. Chizuru's All Ages scene. Aww. Um, and I, I just thought it was really sweet because it does add a bit more to her character, I think. Um, yeah. And that's that's something that's really cool is like, again, it's not just like, hey, you know, we're we're going to start making out and then we just fade to black. Like, there's actually, they added some scenes to make it, because they, they do fade to black, but um, they also add some content in there so it's not just, you know, dead air. Yeah. Yeah, no, they added a lot actually um to some of the scenes um for the all ages versions, yeah. Anyways, Gabs, so what's yours? Yeah, I think well, actually to be honest, I I like both Sumika's and Mia's um all ages scenes. Oh. I mean, those yeah, I'm I'm a classic. <laughs> I prefer. I like the classics. <laughs> so yeah, those two are still my favorite scenes. Um, it, even though I mean, basically, I've, basically, I felt that cutting out the hate scenes actually brought more impact to the um, particular scenes, especially for Mayas, because uh, it, it was a dramatic moment, and I don't know. Somehow, having the hate scene appearing at that location that they ended up in was kind of weird for me at the time. Yeah, yeah. but. Yeah, basically the orange scene um, kept the kept all the all the important impactful moments while removing the extra hate scenes um, that kind of made no sense for that particular scene. But yeah, so those two were my favorite uh, all age moment um, scenes for the game. Hira, have you What's gone to the old new translation? Uh, I haven't been able to really do much, uh, sadly. Well, let's ask what's your favorite H gene from the original. <laughs> oh, goodness, uh... That's a loaded question. Yeah, I haven't really actually <laughs> played through the entire game yet, either. I I'm yeah, just very unfortunately. Let's, let's not incriminate. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sof, I think it's Sof, I think it's about time to load a new save. I was gonna say, um... Oh, and for the record, um, my favorite All Ages scene is Iamine's, definitely. Um, let's go ahead uh, and grab. Let's jump to the dress scene. Ooh, ooh! Now the Dance, question is, huh? does it does it look good on her? That's, yeah, that's, dude. Right, let's chat. ask the chat. Let's, let's, let's okay. ask the chat. All right, chat. D does does the dress look good on her? Remember, there's a slight delay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> to be honest, it looks. Traditionally classy, not particularly good, but nope. classy. Oh, poor Sumi. Oh, goodness. There's not a single yes. <laughs> there so was we, one. We have a. So far, we have a resounding <laughs> note. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead no and call this one early. No yeah, I'm well. gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna take that one. We're we'll gonna. <laughs> oh, good one. <sighs> yeah. In this scene, I liked expanding the waiter to actually sound like an English waiter. That was fun. Yeah. I, I'm just gonna, like, come right out here and say that the waiter is my favorite uh, sprite in all of Love Love. I really love the waiter's <laughs> surprised face. Yes. It's the best I thing love ever. So much. I like it more than the tank fast beta looking like he's asking for a fight. 
Fan class, come at me, bro face. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Oh, man. So, yeah. Um, this is a little further into Common Root. Uh, we've got some of this. I guess there's not a whole lot happening in this scene. We don't have to stay on this for too long. Um, we'll let the waiter shoot. come through. We'll let the waiter have his dialogue. Just, yeah, please. Let, let's, let's please show yeah, the waiter. I love him. Yeah, he's he's best girl, probably. Yeah, yeah he is. Win, waiter route win. Yeah. <sighs> oh, there he is! I know, there's Dang. just like, there's something something that just happens with his eyes when, when he's, it's like a surprised sprite. I don't know, I just find it hilarious. Isn't that the colonel from KFC? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that too. Colonel <laughs> Sanders. Yeah, dude. Kimiga no Zomu fried chicken. <laughs> Good eat. Know, I'll be the drop forces. <laughs> but one thing I have to say, the earrings Sumika has, those are pretty nice. Yeah, I'll give you that. Well, you gotta be nice to her about this, because, like, again, the dress was picked out by Maya. So, of course, it's cloudy yeah. and looks awful on her. Me? Yeah! <laughs> Although the oh. one thing I always found weird about this is why the ribbon? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's part of the character design, so... The ribbon is a part of Sumika, like, oh, she no. actually can't take it off. Oh, yeah, like the uh, ahogi, I guess. It's, it's, you, you, have you seen that image where it's, like, got the scissors up by her ahogi and yeah. it's, like, this <laughs> killed this her? Yeah. 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 yeah, it's yeah. the same thing with her ribbon. If she takes it off, she dies. That's her life support. Yeah. <laughs> And, yeah, it's definitely the both the ribbon and the hauge plays a big point in later games. <laughs> also in True Lies. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Shh, Thomas, don't say that. That doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think she's using to hide her chest? In the hot springs, I mean. Is she? I thought that was a towel. Yeah, I think it's a towel. Uh, that, that, that was a joke. That was a joke. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I agree, Ben. Takahashi route win. Hi. Yeah. Oh, I agree with Blue, I agree with Blue Shirt. This waiter is smug as hell. Almost Indeed. Love the waiter. I love him more than anything we, on this Yeah, plant. my favorite sprite yeah. in the game. There we go. <laughs> That's what we were waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's even better, good. right? If you forget that his eyes are there and just pretend that his little glasses are his eyes, his face looks even better. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, dude. But every ca character in Marvel Love really needs their own root, root, except characters from Kimi no Zo and Kimita. All right, so I think that's probably enough of this scene. Yeah, should I grab, kinda... I'll grab the next scene, um, which I got. believe is the birthday scene, if I remember oh, correctly. Yeah, yeah, should be. So, and we'll have another look at some uh, translated images there as well, if I, if I remember already. Yeah, I do remember. On, on, the, on, the, on the back wall, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, gosh. Um, can I also talk about the three idiots? Yeah, go for it. Go for because, it. Because, again, those were some characters that were, to me, in the original, I thought they were pretty obnoxious. Um, and they're supposed to be obnoxious, like, that's kind of their point. But now they're, like, charmingly obnoxious, if that makes any sense. Like, they're very, I still think it's, I, I, I think they're actually cute characters rather than just, like, ugh. Whatever. Yeah. Did they see a lot change from the original translation? Mm, I'd say it's a it's a little more slight than some of the other more noticeable changes. Uh, there are a few scenes though that are definitely uh, very different. There's one with a lot of like sexual innuendos that were completely not noticed at all. Uh, so yeah. There are some there are some decent scenes with the three idiots, yeah. I actually originally couldn't um, tell the difference between Kamio and Tomoe, Tomoe for a long time. 
Oh, we are coming up with some uh, English siege in the background. Oh, that big damn happy birthday. Was that edited in or was that in originally there? Um, I think it was just altered. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, just altered. Um, yeah it was altered. Like, two. Yeah, yeah, it said happy birthday for Takeru. And now yeah. it says happy birthday to Takeru. So it's just a just a slight grammar change. But unnecessary one in our opinion. So yeah. <laughs> uh. What's happy birthday added to that cake? I think that was always there. Yeah, I think yeah, that was there. Yeah, there was there was no change for those. <sighs> Game Guy was actually with the, uh, that was, that was in the original. Yeah, Game Guy is what, is what it's called. Uh, there are CGs with Game Guy. Um, I guess it's, I guess it's in, I guess it's Altered Fable that has the Game Guy CG with the actual Game Guy logo. <laughs> I think um, another thing that was kind of missed out in the original as well was the parody names of the video games. Yeah, Play Stallion too. I I don't think Play Stallion. Well, oh, it's, a, it's play, a Game Boy. They have the Play Stallion. Um, isn't there? There's the Dream Cost as well, right? Yeah, Dream Cost yeah, Dream and Play cost. Stallion. Those are actually those uh <clears throat> those are reference. Well, I guess those are just consistency things. Um. In the Japanese, it just says Puresta, uh, so that's kind of why I think it was translated as like Play Studio um, yeah. uh, originally. But in the uh, in Kiminozo, it is actually the full title is Play Stallion, and same with Dream Cost, but that's actually said in Mobile. Wow. Sorry about my yeah. cats again. <laughs> They're upset because my husband just went to work. No, that, that was that was just Mickey. It's fine. Biggest <laughs> <laughs> upset again. <laughs> Seven, check the chat. Huh? Check the chat on YouTube. Uh, I'm There's pretty sure question. it is possible to read here. Oh wait, no, actually, I'm not sure. I think. Yeah, I can't say. Oh, I can't. Just... That's a difficult question. I mean, I think it kind of depends. Uh, I think, I think it depends because don't they have? Sometimes you will get like um, multiple lines, so you'd have you know, yeah. Like, when there's like you'd, you'd have like K, Sakaki, Sumiko, whatever, all saying a line, or you would just have like all three as a character name, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if it's if it's all people saying different things, then yeah, they're separate. Um, but if it's like everyone at once saying like Roger or whatever, yeah. Because I guess it does just depend whether the voice lines were recorded independently of one another and then scripted to play together or whether they were recorded all at the same time yeah pretty much all right um also set the mega drone sounds awesome should, I, should we grab the next save go for it yeah. uh what have we got now i honestly I think actually remember. we're on we might be on unlimited now no 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 we got oh. we, got a, we oh. got a few more oh we've got the, um yeah yeah that's right go for it can't remember what this is but this is, I think. Uh, oh no, hang on, we've got dr drunk scene, right? Oh no, we've got the uh, hospital scene. Oh yeah, we'll have a look oh, at that. Oh, yeah. Just some, uh, just a quick Kiminozo reference. Yeah, just a little bit of just gonna a little bit of a carne to soothe the chat. Evan, do you have your Akane titty next to you? <laughs> all, but all of them. <laughs> Yeah, um, I heard that some people are uh, trying to do some sort of, like, insurrection and, like, take over the Akane thing uh, in the Discord server. That they are. Um, um, uh, I, I Evan, know, Evan will fight you to, to the death. Yeah, I, I probably will, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I think that it was fun to include Akane uh, in Mob Love Extra, and I enjoyed translating her a lot. I was it was uh, a connection. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this guy.
I've comforted the cat. <laughs> it would be nice if they added the nurses from Kimi no so in the background. Well, there is one yeah. cameo of Fumio. There's one cameo, there's one, but, yeah. so, there's one cameo of Fumio, but... <laughs> not a fan I can see. What's not to like? That's a conspiracy! Takahashi and Saigiri are the same person. <laughs> I would believe that. <laughs> I'm starting that new uh, trending article oh, on Reddit. Well, while we're talking about Saigiri, uh, he's had a massive makeover and he now does not sound as horrifically weird as he did in the original. <laughs> Does he sound like an actual person now? Yeah, yeah, he, he sounds like a human with real uh, feelings and emotion and cognitive processes. Yeah. Emotions in the Marvel? What the hell is that? What is this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said I comforted the cat, now she's upset again. <laughs> I don't think it's just They'll always come back for more. <laughs> I'm sorry, she has separation anxiety. <laughs> Alright, once this little bit ends, I'll load the next save. Yeah. It's kind of nice. I actually went through the Dreamcast of version of Kimi no so rather recently. So seeing Akane in this kind of happy-go-lucky mood again is kind of refreshing. And here's the Kimi no oh, here we go. Of course. Boom. That's uh, that's called laying it on thick, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Uh, good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then it trolls. She's like, you want you want to hear about it? And it's like. Yeah, no. You don't get to, unless you buy this other game. Peace. Ah, alrighty. So, I guess we can load another thing. Oh yeah, we've, we've seen the reference. That's what, that's what we came for. Um... <laughs> I was pretty thrown off by that one too in Katawa. <laughs> yep, I'll agree with that. It said comfort her, and I thought that meant, like, say it's okay. But yeah, no, it's uh, a different kind of comfort. Um... Holy moly, I did not think that was gonna happen. <laughs> Things get out of hand quickly. <laughs> All right, Ian uh, is right. I'm gonna shoot dead God Gundam. And here we are now. Uh, the drunk scene at the spa. Another nice little fun scene. Just for record, I did not comfort Misha. I kicked her ass out. I did it with purely innocent intentions. Misha was a good person. Yeah, I did it just thinking, you know, I'll be a nice guy. That's what we need. But no. I was wrong. Mm -hmm. Being a nice guy will only get people hurt. Oh, I guess this isn't well, the drunk scene, Evan. thinking about the power of his healing, you know. Yeah. Let's just skip through to the drunk. Does that apply to you too? Eh? Skipping to drunk. I guess, I guess we missed the drunk scene, Evan. Uh, no, I'm doing all right. I'm doing oh, okay. All right. So I guess it's about. I guess we can switch to show some unlimited stuff. Yeah, I mean, unless people really want to see the drunk bit. Oh, okay, we're here. There we go. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> Nothing super. <laughs> Good CG. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice CG. I guess I saved at the wrong point there. In my defense, it was like half two in the morning, and I was exhausted. <laughs> So, uh, I guess before we switch to, over to Unlimited, Gab, do you want to talk about, you know, some of your background and how that helped and things that you felt necessary to change in Unlimited and stuff like that? And... Oh, sure, yeah. So, basically, I think um, in the team, I'm the only one who has some military experience um, because, yeah, in my country, we have to serve, like, uh, military two years uh, serv national service, so... I um, belong in the combat um, stream and yeah, as the infantry. So yeah, that, that really helped a lot in my um, translation of the terms and 
right, what's going on with all the military items in that occurred in Unlimited and also uh, moving forward into alternative. So yeah, um, actually that, it was mainly because of my experiences that I really got into Math Love in the first place and that's what got me to start um, helping in the French translation for Chronicles as well in the shirt uh, back um, several years ago. If you want to hear uh, more about how we got into Marvel Up, you can go back to our previous Alternative Radio Global podcast and listen to those. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> that was a smooth plug-in. <laughs> I just had to. That was smooth. Yeah. Alright, so should we switch over to Unlimited now? Sure. Yeah, sure. So, Alrighty. I believe the first save we have is just the very start. Just uh, the very beginning, yeah. Just, well, So, spoilers start, to anyone. Spoilers, spoilers to anyone, anyone that's you know, interested if you haven't in, uh, finished Extra, yeah, stop watching now. You might want to drop out of the stream now. Or at least uh, just don't then, blame us. Yeah. Um, we won't be showing we'll... anything hugely plot yeah, spoilery, yeah. but, it, I mean, <laughs> the twist and everything yeah, is kind of inherent yeah. to showing any unlimited scene, so... Uh, if you want to go into that completely blind, uh, here's your warning. So yeah. yeah. Okay. That was a good disclaimer. Between Extra and Unlimited, which one had more CGs to edit into English? Uh, unlimited, <laughs> by a long shot. Like, probably three times as many. Because there's all the, you know, the, the diagrams and things that are just, like, slightly changed. Oh, that charts. reminds me, actually. Um... I don't know if this is what the glob meant, but um, something of, uh, I was just wondering, when they boot up the TSFs and there's all the Japanese dialogue, I'm fairly sure it was translated, but could you just confirm that, uh, Hideo or Gab, that that is translated now? Um, I think it is. Blow up, blow up the TFS as in, in the... Sorry, the simulator like boot up sequence. Oh, right, the simulators. Um, you mean you mean when they first um all the all the Japanese inside the um, yeah 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 heads up display and all that yeah yeah um yeah. unfortunately yeah unfortunately those um will remain in Japanese. I thought they were translated. Um on on re on request by um by Ixter. Because oh, right, um, okay. these are basically Japanese, yeah, they are basically Japanese pilot in Japan. So, oh, yeah, okay. it, it makes sense yeah. to leave them in Japan is, uh, after all. Okay, I thought they were translated for some reason. I don't know. No, for those um, context-related maps and all that, we do provide um, English translation. And for the lectures and all that, we definitely um, included the English and replaced um, the Japanese when um, when it's logical. So yeah, we also have um, a totally re updated image um, during one of the lectures that you'll notice that's totally different from the original unlimited one. Oh, sweet. And that's an F4 if I'm not incorrect. Uh, yep, right. F4 is one of them. <laughs> but oh, yeah, some if... I um, just wanted to add that for the heads up display, don't worry about those because um, the originals also included some English one, English text together with the Japanese. Yeah, it's so, slightly broken. Yeah, yeah. correct. So um, it's, it doesn't doesn't break the immerse, immersion. Yeah, go ahead and uh, some people want to see the UI change to unlimited. Go ahead and show like the way the options menu changes and backlog and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, obviously here we've got a completely different uh, color scheme. I like extra yeah. better. I I don't know. I'm kind of torn. Um, I quite, I like I like both. Your mileage may vary. I'll just stick this back. Uh, I just think that it's cute with the pink. I really like pink. I'm sorry. See this obviously yeah it's all the same. But uh, yeah we got this. Um, oh one thing. Sorry this has just occurred to me. One thing that we didn't demonstrate in the beginning that we can do is the new clear list when we've gone through all the saves. I've just completely forgotten that. So obviously this is how it all looks now. A uh, completely different colour scheme. We've got the same chibi in the corner. But obviously this is different here. So yeah. 
That's that. Backlog is Somebody different too. Somebody wants to know what the TSF head is on the UI. Sorry, what do you say? Pretty sure that's the Fubuki. Yeah, it's Pretty Fubuki. sure it's Fubuki. Yeah. Uh, let's double check. Yeah, it's Fubuki. Ah, all the T base TSF from uh, integral works on my wall, so I just need to turn my head to the left. <laughs> <laughs> I got a figure right in front of me as well. And the integral works uh, TSF technology tree is actually just right at a ahead of my head on the wall. Uh, Thomas, the answer to your question is Sumika does have lines uh, in Unlimited in flashbacks, and there's like a couple, yeah, Ooh, flashbacks that are two extras. Um, no, it's not. Uh, just like of scenes that are kind of like the extra timeline, but um, not weren't shown uh, in extra. So there's new scenes with her having dialogue. Yeah. And yeah, Shiranu has a round head, whereas Fubuki has this more elongated head with a long, uh, uh, what call horn towards the back. I like to call it a dongle. Yeah. Dongle. <laughs> you mean the radar? Right. Yeah, the radar. Come on, it's been a little bit since I did a TSF comparison last time. I should actually do another one this month. And here we have it's like everybody's we're, uh, favorite guards. Yeah, we have uh, we have prime waifus one and two. Exactly. A random Chinese guy and a random black guy. <laughs> Most underrated characters in the franchise. They're my best friends. I love them. <laughs> I really love that. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. That like happy birthday fan art with these two guards in. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> I really love that picture. <laughs> this well, Opa one. Honest, I didn't even know they came out with a line sticker set for Muv Love. They did. They did. <gasps> that must have been after I was unable to get my line account back. I ouch. Yeah. I believe there were two birthday pictures uh, starring these two dudes as well. <laughs> they're <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> Good, they're the best. I especially like the latest one. Hmm. What's that military facility translated from Japanese? I was, I was literally, yeah, I was just about to no, say it that. Was, was, was that. No, 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 that was always there. there. Yeah, it was always there. Alright, if you want to skip through a little bit of this, yeah. fine by me. We'll get some, uh, some of the interior. A little Yuko. A little bit of Yuko, yeah. Then we can move ahead. I love this guy. Oh yeah, Drunk Meets like, showed up. I really did not mean to do this, but when I was playing it, I, I accidentally had turned the brightness up really, really high so I could actually see the details on his face. I love him. That's cool. Also, I gotta say, I think it's so cool having Takeru have voices, uh, have a voice now. It is so cool hearing him talk in these scenes. Yeah. You know, it's just that uh, if you've seen uh, Gundam Seed, uh, the main character shares the same voice actor with Takeru. So it feels really, really weird to know that Jesus Yamato is basically another savior in another franchise. Wait, isn't it Soichiro Hoshi? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, oh, God, he is such a good voice actor. That sounds bratty as fuck. Yeah, he oh, no, there, there are some really good uh, Takedu dialogue lines, like voice lines in this. There are some excellent ones in alternative. Yeah, the, uh, yeah I mean. Some very climactic that's, scenes. That's, yeah, that's what that I was talking you guys, about. I don't want to give any spoilers, but yeah. No spoilers, but there's additional Takedu uh, VA in alternative. That is excellent. Excellent. It really makes the scenes. Yeah. So I would agree with you that. guys can look forward to that. That's one of the improvements. Like normally, I'm. I tend to almost be a little against having uh, main characters with voiced lines because sometimes yep. I'll say it. You know, can help. It can ruin the immersion. But in that instance, it just makes the whole scene. It's. I think with Takeru though, like unlike a lot of other visual novels, Takeru 
is not supposed to really be the um it's like not substitute like substitute for the reader. Yeah, it's not a self insert at all, is it? Yeah, he has his own character, so I think it's pretty like vital to have him be voiced. Absolutely. Yeah. He is such a good character. Oh, I love Takeru. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we've got some Yuko here. Oh. Oh. The thing is, that yeah, Lisa... Kate definitely did show that. Yep. Evan? Oh, I was just going to say, yeah, I think that it really varies in terms of uh, voiced uh, main characters. Um, like, uh, for example, uh, in Kimi Ganazumi and a uh, special fan disc, uh, there was a uh, Kimi Ganazumi Daisho, which is um, basically uh, or just the first chapter of Kimi Ganazumi and um, with additional endings uh, that open up some interesting new routes. Um, Things like you can't prevent the accident and all that. Yeah, stuff like that. And they actually did voice dialogue for all of Takayuki's um, lines. And uh, that, in my opinion, that wasn't excellent. Um, I think that the way that they did it with Takedu is pretty nice, that it's, you know, just every once in a while. Um, yeah, I, I think it, I don't know. It's also, it also really restricts the kind of tone that you're able to create as a translator when you have every single line voiced. Yes. In any case, and I have in case like, of Takayuki, it's, well, more like Takeru, is that Takeru is kind of like the reader as a character during Mob Lab. But in alternative, he slowly towards the end becomes his own character. Yeah. It's definitely the same in Unlimited. Um, I think in Extra, he is supposed to be like that stand-in for the reader. But once you get to Unlimited and he's starting to actually like understand how things work, I think he slowly starts to come of his own, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that's uh... Yep. Yep, he does. He definitely does start to stand out as um, as a unique character who has developed in, I mean, throughout Unlimited and into Alternative. Yeah, I guess okay. um, some people are a little bit torn because um, Soichiro Hoshi does have a very unique voice. Um, and he, I don't know he's, if he's a, a lot of people have seen um, or read any of uh, Higurashi no Nakakoro ni. <laughs> um, but he was the voice of Katie in that, and he did such an amazing job through that, that, like, as soon as I heard that, um, Soichiro Hoshi was going to be doing the voice of Takeru, I was like, oh, dude, he's, he's going to nail it. He's incredible. Yeah, so, um, indeed, indeed. let's, let's see here, uh, 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 hmm, uh, Ian, I agree with you, uh, that Mavlov is basically... A, a, one big, huge coming-of-age story. Um, yes. With and uh, and uh, that's that's pretty much why it's so effective more than Honestly. any of the other things that are, you know, that are, you know, the setting or the background. Uh, just the narrative, you know, structure from going from Act 1 to Act 2 to Act 3. Um, he also asked to see the OP, please, please, please. Uh, I guess we can skip ahead to some of that. We can do that, yeah. Just, yeah, sorry, just as a display thing. I know I said about being able to switch between uh, Japanese and English dialogue on the fly. Obviously, this is an example of that. If you just press L, it will switch straight to Japanese and then yeah. just switch straight back to English. So, yep. it's that simple. There's no option menu or anything like that that you need to go through. You can just do it on the fly. That Yuka sprite when she's sitting down has always uh, troubled me. I mean, she looks like a raven. <laughs> See, here we are. We're oh, just one of opening now. Just, just, so... just... Yep, sorry, yeah, just wanted just... to mention about the switching. So, yeah, while the text is uh, switched immediately for the images, just take note that um, the switch will take place on the next image. On the next image, yeah. Yeah. And here we have the opening. Oh, here we go! Here we go with the OP! It's so good! I really like this opening.
I just, I really... Uh, I'm sorry. I get really, 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 really excited about Mob Love still. Like, even just working... Even though we're, like, working on the official translation, like, I still get super fangirly about it. <laughs> I know what you mean. Just have to say, though, shadows the characters have in the backgrounds when they're appearing on the screen. That's so damn 80s. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I really love it this way. I love this animation style that they have for um, our vlog. Indeed, indeed. It's just got that class look that is rather hard, hard to find right now. It's there, it's brilliant. Yeah, they should have done uh, Total Eclipse and Schwarzish Machine in this style. <laughs> I mean, they did Total Eclipse's uh, light novel advertisements in this style. Ooh, spoiler behind. <laughs> Most people don't even realize that it's there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll go and... Should I go and grab the next save now? Yeah, um, go ahead and do that. That's a good idea. We don't need... Yeah, we've seen the OP now. What else have we got? We got... Uh, where were we? Uh, uh, which one came first? Wasn't there like a PX one? Was there one uh, before uh, this? Um, yeah, we got this. We got another PX scene. Uh, okay, yeah. Um... Again, we can we can let the chat decide what we play. Sure, we can do that. I think it's the choice between, if I remember, it's uh, Shogi Marbles and Cat's Cradle. Yes. Yeah. Uh, or Kendama. Do oh, yeah. you get a choice to do Kendama here? I'm not sure. Actually, yeah, Thomas. Uh, yes, Thomas. There's a lot more foreshadowing and extra now. Uh, a lot of things yes. were overlooked. I actually have that pilot jacket and those pants. Yeah. Wait, no, is that is that a uh, alt? Oh gosh, did I just kill it? <laughs> kill what? I'm so jealous. I was I was about to call you Gabe. I'm like, hang on a second, wait, what? Um, I'm so jealous. All right. What are we oh. again? The chat needs to decide which one of these we choose. So you don't get a chance to do Kendama here. No, God damn it, Kendama's pissed. So uh, hang on, let me just obviously run on three here, but hey, marbles. Cat, we got string. That's uh, I'm seeing a lot of Cat's Cradle. I think it's Cat's Cradle, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. You get to play with cheesy. A lot of string right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll give. I think Cat. Yeah, Cat's Cradle gets it. Cat's Cradle will save the world. That it will. What the? F <laughs> oh, Maya. Hmm. <laughs> These two were some of the ones I had the most fun writing. I love Chizuru, um, and again, she was kind of my pet project in the translation. But I also had a lot of fun with Mikoto and Miki. No, without a doubt. When you actually look at those jacket designs, you can see that the pouches on the chests really... <laughs> Lifts up certain uh, aspects of their character design up. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. You know, I've always wanted to know where visual novel characters do their shopping for that. No, they have personal designers. I need them. Whoa, 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 whoa. goodness! <laughs> 
cats are chatting again. Yeah, I'm sorry. She finished watching Kitty TV and now she wants to um be with her brother. Alright, so should I grab the next save now, do you reckon? Sure, I don't see why not. Yeah. I, I think we're I think we're kinda you know, going a little I mean, we've been going we're a little uh, must, off must be close to two hours now. Uh, yeah. we've been streaming, uh, well, discussing 1 hour 47, so it's about 1 hour 30. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Alright, so, uh, we'll jump to the comprehensive. Yeah, the evaluation. Alright. Oh, this one's a pretty short one, and then we have another one from then we have right after one. this. Yeah, just, yeah. So let's just show a little bit of this, and then switch ahead. I never noticed that Mickey's the only one with a t-shirt. Yeah! And, uh, Maya and Mikoto are the only ones that have, like, the... the st I, I don't know how to describe the, that style of shirt. Turtleneck? Turtleneck? No, not the turtleneck. Turtle if, if you look at the back of it, it's different. Ah, open back. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, see? Yeah. Alright. I guess we'll, ah, just, yeah. we'll just wait until they uh, commence the mission and then we'll load the next save, I think. Alrighty. Sounds good. I have to just say that those yeah, shirts. We'll just have a bit of dialogue. I think this map was already in English. Yeah, there wasn't a lot to do with this map. It's such like a. Yeah, they even joke about that in the game where they're like, wow, there's like nothing on this. Yeah. Oh, it's no Sado Island map, so. It's later when we get into alternative that the maps start getting really complicated and yeah. crazy. Hira's gonna have a lot of sleepless nights while we get it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all are for alt. Like alt is going to be pretty. It's a massive, it's it's massive a undertaking. Taking, yeah. As, as good as it feels to finally get this out, and even though it is technically bigger, in terms of length, like this new version, including both, you know, the adult and the uh, all ages scenes and additional scenes. There are a couple scenes that weren't in the original game, by the way, that were retconned in. Um, uh, ugh. This this game now clocks in at a little over uh, 65,000 lines, making it significantly longer than alternative. So yeah, but even even despite that, uh, ugh, it's gonna be it's 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 so much more dense the uh, the script so, and the technical jargon it has and all that. Yeah. And not just that, but like not uh, like okay, one of the biggest problems we're going to have with alt is definitely going to be um um i guess what i want to say is actually being able to maintain the tone while also trying to keep the emotional levels of it yeah, yeah. uh it's it's pretty intense i think it'll be i want to i think it'll be a good challenge yeah in the the english fan base is able to experience it the same way that the japanese fan base got to experience it but fuckingly mad and snapping the discs in two <laughs> yes i saw a small nico nico video years back where a person goes through mob love alternative and just gets so mad about the ending that he just snaps the disc out of the tray and cuts it in half <laughs> I think he tries to burn it afterwards and it just gets ballistic on it aye, aye, aye. all right I'm gonna go ahead and uh, load the next yeah go ahead and load the next one now. we've had a nice little bit of dialogue didn't here. they do that with Kimi Nozo too what uh, when that first came out, there was like the big protest, and people like sent their discs back and stuff like that. There was a there was a recall of Kimi Nozo. Actually, there was a there was a fault, um, in the game installer. That was a little bit buggy. 
Yeah, and there was one, uh, there was one, uh, hentai CG that was actually, uh, <laughs> the censorship was not great, uh, it was faulty, quote-unquote, uh, not they had... fully censored. Yeah, they had uh... to expand the mosaic on it. So yeah, that's why what? the original very, very first version of Kiminozo is much more valuable than the second press, because they had to recall it after, like, what, three weeks, I think? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I actually have it. <laughs> it's no it's the uh, Huey on uh, Google uh, YouTube uh, chat is asking it wasn't Kimiga Itakisetsu. It's the remake of Kimiga Itakisetsu that also had uncensored image. Yeah, that 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 they just patched, but this was again before that they had to. This was around what 2003? 2001. 2001. Yeah. 2001. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, we got some good, you know, a good little selection of CGs here. Yeah. So I'm yeah. Skipping around. <laughs> so sad about it. Don't hurt him. <laughs> Those massive melons. <laughs> it's kind of nice that they recycled the CGs into altered fable and just recolored the shirts and pants. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Berignon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aj. Oh, that was me, wasn't that stupid crappy snake bite? I think it was. I think that was me. <laughs> I was trying to think of how many more saves we made last night, Evan. Um, I think we only did like one or two more. Yeah, like than a this. couple more. Um, I guess I could load the other one now. There's a little hetare egg coming up right oh, in a second. Oh, actually, yeah. We'll let we'll let this play out. I'm a girl, you know. Yeah, I'm I aware. Yeah, I kind of miss the time when people thought I was a girl. <laughs> Alright, this is like an inspirational speech thing. Ugh. Takeru's monologues really are always... I really do love um, the inspirational speeches, though, with Takeru, because um, I didn't really get as pumped up when I first was reading it. But now, like, whenever I read Takeru, like, giving these kind of, like, internal monologues, I'm like, yeah, Takeru, get him, boy! <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you love Takeru's internal monologues in Kimi no Zo, then. Well, like, one of, the, one of the things that I was having issues with when I first was reading Mub Love was that, like, I generally don't tend to like protagonists like Takeru. Like, um, I no, think not really here. enjoy the, like, stereotypical gamer guy kind of protagonists. Yeah. But, um, re with reading the translation, sorry, the retranslation, I'm really, really impressed with how much more I like Takeru now. Like, he is so, he's such an entertaining character now. That it is. Yeah, um, I think he's something that... He, he's the kind of character that a lot of us can uh, relate to. Uh, he reminds me a lot of myself in high school. Just like a freaking... Yeah. yeah. A, a, a door that's, that's also a little bit of a, a dweeb, yeah. yeah. For sure. Seeing the way that him and Sunika interact, I'm like, oh yeah, that was me and my best friend too. Like, we, <laughs> we were so mean to each other all the time. Alrighty. I guess we can load another save now. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I think we do only have a couple left. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, is that even one that we wanted to use? I don't think so. Um, I think it was the next one. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was this one. It's the last save. Yep. So we'll just show a little bit of... This is the... Bit of action. We have the mock battle. 
if I remember. Oh, correctly. yeah, this part's great. I think you'll be able to hear that new Evan Call song in the background. It is a really good track. Like, I'm so impressed with all the stuff that Evan Call has done. Yeah. His Schwartz's marking work has been excellent, yeah. Um, yeah, just the menu music for Schwarz's Marken is like, dang! Yeah, the title screen, oh, so good. I'm so happy wow. that those soundtracks are included with the BDs. Yeah, the Blu-rays, yeah. I mean, I was a fool who bought all the Japanese BDs of Total Eclipse, so I might as well buy all the Schwarz's Markens. <laughs> That's a... Uh... 90 euros a pop. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> Preceding paragraph. Yeah. But it does make sense for Japanese TSF to have Japanese text on them. Well, um, yeah, there was, there were, uh, a couple of discussions about that. I think it makes sense. I'm sure there could be possibly some kind of small English text to just insert somewhere around the cockpit with the cockpit, but not really needed. Yeah. And just the other day when we were trying this out, I noticed that the eyepieces that go around their chin, they're just strapped behind their ears, they're not attached to their necks or anything, so those pieces are either really, really light, or everybody's ears are gonna hurt after they're piloting. <laughs> uh. I'm actually, like, I was really, really impressed with how much detail they put into um, thinking out uh, all of the different parts of um, the pilot uniforms. Because, yeah, uh, they, they do go into, like, explanations in text of, like, what each part does. So it's like, wow. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of attention, little, attention to the little details, well, almost everywhere, about, like, those eyepieces, how they work on the life support system on their shoulders and all that. Even though some of them are kind of a little bit wonky, sci-fi, bullshit explanations, but... They're still there. They yeah, don't think through. It's really cool. Ugh. Book is a nice TSF, not the best. And yes, they that... have just done such a good job. I am just so impressed with how amazing the new CGs look and how amazing the new music is and all of that like wow that's great yeah, yeah connor yeah, it's connor this great. is yeah this is the new this is the new evan call track that's in unlimited yep it's translucent ian <laughs> it's actually is if you notice, it's not really translucent because the skin co color and the uh, so-called latex color is uh, kind of different. Yeah. So there is a certain level of translucency in there, but it's fully colored. Yes. Now hang on, Evan, was that you or me who wrote the Mikoto you little shit line? Pretty sure that was me. That, that sounds was you? Like I thought so. <laughs> It sounds like me, it's a line that I would write. Yeah, that's a, there was a, just a one second worth of animation with the jump units boosting. That's kinda neat to see how they actually put actual actual animation in between CG gallery moving. One thing I'm gonna say, again, like I know I talk a lot about Chizuru and K. um... Because, again, like, we put a lot of work into making sure all of the characters uh, come alive. Um, with Chizuru, um, uh, with Chizuru and K, one of the things that I didn't really get the feeling of with the original translation uh, is that the, she, the two of them are actually very much alike. Um, 
like their reasonings for what they're doing are generally like they sound like they're different, but Takeru notices a couple of times. He's like, no, you guys are literally thinking the exact same thing. And having that difference kind of like brought together again, I don't know, they did a really, really good job. Yeah. Yeah, um, we actually... <laughs> we actually, uh, have our own internal, uh, there aren't, as far as I know, uh, of really, uh, common names for the Unlimited Arcs, but within the team we've referred to them <laughs> by names, uh, this one we call Catfight Arc, uh, yep. um, then there's Volcano Arc, what, there's Game Guy Arc, there's... Oh yeah, Volcano Arc, uh, alternate title, Eminent Domain Arc. Um, yep. <laughs> uh, shoot, what else? There's, oh yeah, there's like uh, the Shuttle Arc, obviously. Island Arc. Island Arc, yep, yep, yep. And Info Dump Arc, which comes right after that. <sighs> Pretty fun. I just love seeing Chizuru and K work together like this. Like, it makes me so happy. Because, yeah, the cat fight arc, when we were working on it, it was it was difficult because, again, the the reasonings are so close, but also at the same time, they're, they're like, vastly different. And trying to find how it... Yeah. Yeah. Um, alrighty. So... I think we're so, uh, just about um, at the end of like what we want to show. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've got through all of the saves that we got last night. Um, obviously, I guess I'll show you the clear list and stuff real quick, and just someone, the extras yeah. menu. Yeah, someone wanted to see Kasumi, but I don't know how easy that is. I don't think... Uh, I'm not sure we have a save I don't anywhere. Have, I mean, I can, I can it, yeah. control skip a bunch of this and see what happens. I mean... Yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess that's a possibility. I mean, In the meanwhile, I actually want to hear if Hirei wants to talk about events at AX. Yeah, actually, yeah, you know what, I'll, um... Oh, no, 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 we don't want to show this. This is, uh... Oh. Totally different. Yeah. yeah, this is not gonna be anything with Kasumi. <laughs> yeah, no, this is, uh... Well, let's just, let's just leave that. Yeah, I mean, if we, if we just jump back here, um, obviously now we've got, we have the extras menu. Uh, and here we've got the gallery, which is of course here you've got you know nice little chibis of all the characters. You can... So cute. The Mickey one is adorable. I, yeah. Um, it's obviously let me just yeah we've got uh, it's, you know various CGs here. Uh, the jukebox obviously as before. Uh, we've got yep. all of the songs and the, you know they're all translated into English. The, yeah. The titles of the songs. I'm... Yeah, we did. We did translate those. Um, uh, these pretty nice. The, those these last... are the two new ones. The two new songs yep. here. Um, yeah. So that that's all really nice. Uh, the theater. Yep. I'm not. Yeah. We've we've got the openings here. You can just yeah replay the openings as and as and when you want to. Uh, and this is this is. Am I right in thinking this is a new introduction? Huh? The clear list? Is this a new thing? Oh no, it was in the it was in the PS3 it was, version. It was, it was, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say it was in the PS3, but not yet. New, new for PC though, yeah. Yeah, you can you can check here uh, the different endings that you've got. Uh, you know the the completion rate that you've got, and obviously you can then switch between extra and unlimited, which I think is really nice because obviously a lot of uh, visual novels. It, you know that they don't have that much gameplay in a certain sense, so it's nice, you know, just to be able to see something like this, see your completion rating and all of that. Yeah, when I mean, in something like a visual novel with like about as little, you know, quote unquote gameplay or whatever, this is kind of like the equivalent of a of a of a collectible. Uh, and yeah, the completion rate is based on how many CGs you have unlocked in the gallery. And I love this little chippy here. Yeah. I, I don't know why. I just do. Oh, it's okay. oh, he's so cute. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, I mean, I think that that's about all that we uh, all we had planned, really, yeah. wasn't it? I think. I have to um, show. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, we can show the, I guess, the, um... <clears throat> I guess we could show the... Did we, we didn't show the, the Love Step opening, did we? The new one that loads when you, you know, first open the game. Uh, no. We didn't. That's a good point. Yeah, we can go ahead and show that from theater, and I guess that can be it, and then we can just talk about... I know that Hide had some stuff to say, I think. Yeah, sure. All right, so we'll, anime play, well. We'll, we'll, we'll play this yeah. through, and then... Yeah, Hide, Hide, we'll play this through, and then Hide can talk. That sounds good. So here is Love Step. Old opening is not gone. Uh, it still plays when it's supposed to in the game. Yeah, um, in fact, what, the extra opening? Um, yeah. Did you, yeah. After uh, Hide is done talking, we could close the stream uh, just by playing the extra opening, I think, and just let that play out. Sounds good. Yeah, this is just the opening that that starts when the, you yeah uh, the game load the game opening if that makes sense. Yeah, and the the unlimited OP is the same as it was. It just has a new song. Yeah. But yeah, no. Um, once Hide is done talking, uh, I'll play the extra opening. Um, yeah, I think that'll be it. Uh, alternative will have both openings. Yes, it will have Asuka no Hoko, and it will yeah. have. Um, shoot, what's why am I Shion. drawing a blank? Shion. No, 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 no. The PS3 one. Oh. Uh, zero uh, Gravity. Yeah, Zero Gravity yeah. and also a Hawk Corp. So good. Both of them so, are just so I, good. I, I love, love the PS3 opening for... Of yeah, I think they're both, they're both good for their own reasons. Anyway, Hide, you went to Anime Expo. Yes. You yes, have the I did. Um, yeah, uh, I was there representing Dega Games, and we had a very large booth uh, this year. Last year we had a 10x10 10 10 booth, um, but this year we had a 20x20 20 20 booth, so significant upgrade. Um, uh, at the booth, unfortunately, you know, I didn't prepare a slideshow in time, so you're just going to have to live with you know, me talking. Um, there's lots of pictures on my Twitter, uh, and also I think Bob Love, the official Twitter, also retweeted a lot, and so did Rene and... Uh, I think Yoshimune also tweeted a lot too. 100 x 100 booth when? When I win the lottery, probably. <laughs> <laughs> the booth was not cheap. <laughs> um, but yeah, at the booth we had a merchandise store. Um, we had demos running, not only for Maldo, but we also had a VR station, I believe. Yes, we did. And. So at the VR station, people could play the VR Melt Love demo with the HTC Vive that we had set up. 
And we also had a section for Yoshimune to, you know, just sit and have autographs and, and everything. Um, a lot of the merchandise that we sold was event exclusives or rare things that you can find, like the Sumika bed sheets or like the boot pads. We had Haruko, I think, and another character. Yeah. Um, was the... mm -hmm. Thanks. It's saving my mind at the moment, but <clears throat> yeah, a lot of those goods actually sold out day one. Um, mainly the art oh. books, uh, I believe so. The art books sold out and the towels and bed sheets sold out for the most part, I think, as well. Um, yeah, I think some of the events that we had at the booth, they were very successful. We had a lot of people come. Um, we had QA sessions and signing sessions. The QA sessions were very interesting, just to the fact that we had uh, it very open. Um, there was a very interesting image that Yoshimune drew at the event where he was trying <laughs> to explain World War II and it was just like a mess of scribbles. Let me see if I can find it. I mean, it was on the uh, official Kickstarter update, <coughs> so you can find it there. Henry, if you um, can, he if you, pretty off. intense image. If, if you can pass over to me, uh, I can stick it up on the stream. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. You can also go to the Kickstarter update, I think, too, and you'll have it. Because I remember including it. Uh... It was pretty intense when he was explaining. I would definitely play Muv Love Go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all the bikes. Just I would go actually around just catching up. beta, like, I would play that. I would actually need to update my phone to do that, I'm still running on an old Nokia. I think it's as big as you're gonna get it, but yeah. It was... It's just like a mess of red scribbles. But apparently that's his explanation, so... That works. We also had cosplayers, um, at the event too. Uh, we had a Sumika and a Take Mikazuchi. Take uh, Cutie, Cutie Pump was our Sumika, and Discalibur, who is from the forums, was actually our Take Mikazuchi, so. Oh, it's a tiny image, shit. Yeah. It's a tiny image, yeah, sorry. Uh... Oh, blue shirt, that's so mean! <laughs> Well, it could be a uh, Mickey Ribbon pad. Uh, hang on, I mean, I guess I'll just quickly see if I can like. I was really impressed with the Takemi Kazuchi, and again, there I also the... have to like throw out like a yeah for that Sumika because she's one of my best friends. <laughs> Yeah, we actually had three Sumikas. Um, on the last, on um, uh, day three, we had a cosplay meetup. So, like, I put out a call on, like, Twitter saying, Hey, come and celebrate the Mub Love release upcoming. So, like, a bunch of cosplayers came, which is really cool. Uh, we had three Sumikas, uh, including your friend. So, yeah! no is So sad. Uh, lots of Sumikas. We had, I don't um, think anybody wants to attempt to make the wig for Maya. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the wig is quite a challenge. No, I have a clear idea how it could be done. I mean, it's not hard, it just takes a little bit of work and uh, some materials, but it's actually pretty easy to do with some sheets, wire, some good blue hair and strings. I mean, I could just do a draw, uh, explode a drawing, how to do it in a few days. I know that um, uh, Cutie Pump is planning at some point to do um, a Miki cosplay as well. Oh, here we oh, go. That's okay, awesome. We, we got the picture up now on the stream. And then, like, uh, we also had a TSF cosplay, another one, um, who was also another forum member. Huey was a 14 Tomcat, and he also had, like, speakers in his uh, shoulders. It was pretty cool. I'll go ahead and link it on the chat too. There we go. Um, the speakers actually played music, so like he was blasting the opening theme, Top Gun, 
Uh, Yoshimi they really got a kick out of it. And then, like, I cosplayed this Gretel for the event too, just cause, uh, for shorts is marking. And I was joined by one other person, I think it was Ikaruga. Uh, he was like a foot soldier, I think. Yeah, so generic. It was really fun, uh, we took a lot of fun pictures, uh, poses, etc. Um, and I was just really floored by, like, how many people came. Uh, we filled up the entire booth. And we caused a traffic jam on several occasions. Um, Excellent. We had to be very careful that the fire marshal didn't come to our booth and be like, "No, you can't do this." But thankfully, everything turned out okay. Uh, yeah. Also, on day three, there was a panel um, hosted by Sekai Project, and it was with Sayori. Uh, Yoshimune was there too, so they did a bit of talking, and I think the Kimi Nozo. Uh, announcement came from there um, but overall it was a really fun experience and I really hope that we can have Yoshimune and hopefully more of the team there next year maybe we'll get a bigger boost we'll see crossing my fingers that maybe I can go next year <laughs> yep yeah sorry I forgot We'd to, love to um... have you forgot to upscale that image there, so there'll be a bit of black space in the video. I know. We know. We see it. But, All right. Yeah. Well, shoot, I think we're kind of right, running um, out. So I guess... Um, we can I'll show the opening, and then Hide did make a nice image that we can end on uh, just to celebrate the launch that we can show, I think, right? Yeah, but yeah, go if, ahead. We, yeah, if um, we're gonna... Do we, do we have gonna this do that, image? What? Do we have this image already, or...? We can we can do our say goodbyes over the image. Exactly yeah. that. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll send it to you. I was gonna say I'm, I'm gonna need the image. Just set it up quickly and then. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So uh, let's just get the. Um, get you know, you could there. make a really nice uh, super deformed TSF with human proportions. I should probably do that one day. I think I still have some sheet metal lying around. Okay, so... If we start to play the extra opening now, yeah? Yeah, go for it. Okay, excellent.
Ooh, I didn't realise the image was small. One second. And that's about that. Almost. Yep, I'm just gonna switch the image over. Does chat have any questions we could answer? Keep in mind that we can't go into too much into details about future dates, events, or anything like that. <laughs> yes, drunk Mitsuki, you are the best girl. That's true. <laughs> Does the engine support screen resolution front end rendering? That's for stuff, I think. Sorry? I... Does, the, Does engine the engine support screen res font rendering? I think so. I. Yeah, I'm. I'm... I think so. Oh, yes, I guess we, we will do. Uh, <coughs> we will do streams again at some point. Yeah. Yeah, we we are going to most likely change the whole arg arg podcasting into a streaming format. And hi, I'm Kimino Sagai, the one dude. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Sasha's dad. <laughs> could be my mom. She's still logged in on his account, too. <laughs> oh, okay, could be. <laughs> I just have to say that everything Sasha has told about her dad, it's have been simply absolutely marvelous and one day i just want to have him on the phone and discuss science fiction and all that <laughs> will we hear the full opening songs in the jukebox i don't think they're in the jukebox at all yeah i know they're in the theater mode and that's it be releasing the full soundtrack separately well we can't really answer that so i know all right, Woo. I think we should uh, we should probably That's just impossible. sign this off. We're about two hours in, I think, a little bit yep. more. And uh, everyone, you can all just say go around and say goodbye and thanks and whatever. Yeah. Let's sure. start with the uh, old traditional stuff. Uh, okay. Thank you for being here. Where can people get in contact with you if you want them to? Are you talking to me? Yes. Oh. Uh. If they want to get in contact with me, the best way is through the forums. Um, I answer PMs very quickly. Uh, you can also tweet me at Twitter. Uh, it's at RayTerraStu. Hi. Sachi, how can people get in contact with you? It's been really, really good getting to talk with some of the fans and hearing everybody's impressions of the translation and everything. I'm really, really excited to hear how you guys feel about how everything came along. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me, um, I can be reached on Twitter or uh, at Sachi Bell. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm I'm lying. It's uh, Sachi Mick Bell because somebody stole my name. And um, then my Gmail account would be the Magnificent Sachi Bell at gmail.com, and you can reach me there. Suff. Uh, yeah, for me, uh, best place is uh, Suffolk on Twitter. That's with three Fs, actually, because as Sachi, as it also happened to us, Sachi, someone stole a name. So it's uh, S U triple F O L K as opposed to two Fs. Gabs. Yep. Uh, again, I'd like to thank everyone for helping to support this um, project. And yep, please look forward to Alternative. You can reach me at the Outpro um, Gmail account or at 
um, getgrave at gmail as well. Eban? Uh, yeah, I'm just really overwhelmed uh, since yesterday, and it hasn't even gone live uh, to everyone on Steam, so uh, thanks everyone. Just from the bottom of my heart, everything that you've said so far uh, about the script, positive and negative, uh, I'm just so glad that people are reading it, so uh, I hope you really, really have an excellent and enjoyable experience with the game. And you can find me on Twitter at E N J O I E V A N. And I'm your usual host. You can contact me at Kim as a guy on Twitter. You can check my blog at wordpress.automate.org. You can find me, well, you can find, contact me through email at Kim as a guy at gmail.com. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, I think that that's about it. See you later. See, See you guys later. See you all. Thanks you. Later. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>